For most of blockchain's history, we've relied on the same cryptographic foundations. They've earned our trust, they've worked well, but they were designed in a world where certain assumptions held true. One of those assumptions is starting to change. Quantum computing isn't a breakthrough that necessarily happens all at once. It happens incrementally, quietly, and until recently, a lot of times outside of the spotlight. And while no one can point to an exact date yet, there is broad agreement across the board on one thing. And that is when quantum computers become sufficiently capable of running Shor's algorithm at scale, the cryptography used by most blockchains will no longer be sufficient. This is not a prediction, it's baked into the math. This isn't something that we have to panic about yet, but it is something that we all need to take seriously while there's still time to make deliberate choices. Most blockchains today rely on ECDSA. It's efficient, it's proven, and it was never designed with quantum adversaries in mind. When that changes, the impact won't necessarily be dramatic headlines or instant failure. It may initially be something much more subtle, a shift in what can be trusted and for how long. History shows us that major changes in computing do not reward last minute reactions. What they do reward is systems that were already designed with the next constraint in mind. Security is hardest to change after a network is already live, distributed, and valuable. Which is precisely why the right time to be thinking about quantum resistance has always been before it's urgent. The quantum resistant ledger was created around this principle. Post-quantum security wasn't added later, it shaped the architecture from the very beginning. This doesn't make it louder than other projects, it just makes it prepared for a future most systems weren't built to face. This coming year is about building deliberately and strengthening foundations before pressure forces the decision. And making sure that the infrastructure that all of us rely on is still secure, not just today, but for many years to come. The next chapter of blockchain isn't about reacting after the fact. It's about being ready.